So today we're going to talk about nuclear chemistry, specifically focusing on transmutation reactions. Nuclear transmutation is the changing of an element's identity um, from one element to another or one isotope to a different element. Um, and in order to do this, you need to have the number, you need to understand that the number of protons in the nucleus determines the identity of the element. To change the element, the number of protons must change. Okay, it must change. If you don't change the number of protons, you cannot change the identity of the element. So a transmutation reaction is um, a reaction where the transmutation is caused by one particle or nucleus hitting or colliding with another nucleus. Okay, so. But to sh show you what I mean, let's draw this out here. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to draw first a fast-moving nucleus. And this is a helium nucleus. It's got two protons. It's got two neutrons. And what we're going to do is we're going to allow this helium nucleus to collide with uh, another nucleus. Uh, we're gonna, it's going to be our target nucleus. And let's make that a calcium nucleus. So our target nucleus is a calcium nucleus. And that's got uh, 20 protons and 20 neutrons. And when these two particles collide, what you end up with is the transmutation taking place. So if this fast-moving helium nucleus collides and sticks to that calcium nucleus, now we have a new element that is formed. And that would be titanium-44, which would have now 22 protons and 22 neutrons. In all transmutation reactions, and in all transmutations, but all transmutation reactions, the mass is always conserved and the charge is always conserved. And when we talk about how to write nuclear reactions, we'll learn how to represent that. But the mass and the charge are always conserved. So there are a couple of common transmutation reactions. The first one that we're going to talk about is fission. And fission is the splitting of the nucleus into two or more smaller nuclei. Okay, so. Fission is often triggered by hitting a nucleus with a neutron, even though it can be spontaneous um, at times. There is such a thing as spontaneous fission. But for a transmutation reaction, you need that neutron to actually strike the nucleus. So it's often triggered by hitting a nucleus with a fast-moving particle. However, it can be spontaneous. Um, Fission reactions are used in nuclear power plants and nuclear weapons. So they're, they're the t reactions that we see around us. Um, and they're very common. Uh, fusion is the joining of two nuclei into a larger nucleus, like the one we drew out when we talked about transmutation reactions a few seconds ago. Um, fusion is an extremely high energy process and it typically requires extreme temperatures but it also releases a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, fusion reactions are found in stars. Stars are powered by fusion reactions. So you can say fusion reactions are the energy source for stars. Now, both fission and fusions are, are transmutation reactions. And as we said before, in all transmutation reactions, both mass and charge are conserved. Uh, we'll learn how to write that out in the next video.